Welcome to a Shadowbringers and Ninja Skill Spotlight. Let's start this off at level 52. We get Hake Mujin Satsu, which is called it Hake for short. Delivers an attack with a potency of 100 to all nearby enemies. It is instant cast with a weapon skill global cooldown. If used after Death Blossom in a combo, you'll do 140 potency instead. This will extend Hutan's duration by 10 seconds to a maximum of 70. So in an AoE rotation, you're able to extend Hutan indefinitely, unless you need to swap to single target. And of course, similar to Death Blossom, the number of targets required for this weapon skill is 3 or more. At level 54, we get Armor Crush, delivers an attack with a potency of 100, 160 when executed from target's flank. After Gust Slash in a combo, you will do 400 potency and 460 potency from target's flank. Extends Hutan's duration, similar to Hake Mujin Satsu, except this is a single target, and it will extend it for 30 seconds instead. This is a weapon skill with a global cooldown. Armor Crush is not ideal use and is not recommended during the Trick Attack debuff. You definitely want to be using the higher potency Aeolian Edge unless your Utan is near expiration. In terms of using Armor Crush to extend Utan's duration, pretty much any time that it is 40 seconds or less and there is no trick attack, go ahead and use this. Level 56, we get Dream Within a Dream, a threefold attack, each hit with a potency of 200. It is instant cast with a 60 second off global. This is an OGCD. It also grants the SS assassinate ready of 15 seconds. This guy hits three separate times in one OGCD frame. In other words, three hits. Each hit has a chance to proc, crit, and direct hit rate. And finally, on level 60, we get Assassinate. It delivers a critical direct hit with a potency of 200. It can only be executed when Assassinate ready. It is instant cast with a one second recast. Assassinate ready is gained after using your dream within a dream and it will last 15 seconds. So finally two things about assassinate. Firstly, assassinate potency is proportionate to critical hit substat built through materia and or gear. The direct hit is static however, so if you wish to increase assassinate damage, please build critical hit. Secondly, watch your position before pressing assassinate on target as your character will be rooted in place until animation is over. Things like telegraphs both under you and your target can get you killed since your hitbox during assassinate is right under ability animation and then again back to your original spot before activation. Before we start, please check out my Ninja 50 guide in the top right corner for a more detailed look into a large chunk of this opener as you will use it for 60, 70, and 80. I will pause the video to explain opener in detail, now let's begin. We're going to start off with our Jin Chi 10 into Ninjutsu which gives you your Hutan. It is similar to 50 by the way. Get up close to enemies. I'm going to do Jin Ten Chi into Ninjutsu, which drops down your Doton. Immediate hide, you should have enough time. We're going to do Chi Ten into Ninjutsu, which gives us our first Katan. Immediate Kasatsu for a free Mudra into Ninjutsu charge. We're going to do Chi Ten Ninjutsu, which should give you your second Katan. This will do 30% more damage. Immediate Dream Within a Dream, and try to use this on a beefy target. Using this on a weak target is kind of a waste of DPS. We're going to do Chi Ten into Ninjutsu for our final Katan. Immediate Mug, and we're going to do Death Blossom into Assassinate, and Hake Mujinsatsu after that. Continue to spam Death Blossom and Hake till Katan is available again. Things to understand before we begin in case you skip level 50. Doton before boss encounter is not required but will provide extra damage if and only if your tank brings target to puddle. Good luck with that. I will pause the video to explain single opener in detail. With that, let's begin. Jin, Chi, Ten, Ninjutsu gives you Hutan. Jin, Ten, Chi Ninjutsu drops down Doton. If you are in a dungeon and one of these is not required, please use the latter. Example, Hutan timer still relatively high. Immediate hide, wait for tank to go in and follow up with 10 Chi Jin Ninjutsu, which does Sweet on. This procs hidden. 
Something I did not explain in Ninja 50 is to use a GCD such as Spinning Edge to follow up with two OGCDs in case tank lures target to puddle or target positional shifts. But please do ignore Spinning Edge into True North if not required. This was brought up in Ninja 50 comments. Know who you are. Thank you for feedback. And with that, after True North, continue with Trick Attack. Shadow Fang into Kasatsu. Dream within a dream. This will proc your free ninjutsu and assassinate ready. 10 Chi Ninjutsu for your first right on with 30% damage bonus. Immediate Mug into 10 Chi Ninjutsu for your second right on. Immediate Assassinate. Do note to watch for telegraphs or cleaves as assassinate roots your character in place till animation is over. Continue to spam single constant till Riton is available again. Gust Slash, Alien Edge, etc. etc. Hello world and thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe here. You can also donate if interested in supporting the channel. More content to watch on the right side. If interested in joining in the Tempest Talons, info in the top left. And as always, good luck to you, and we'll see you next time.